Today we're going to show you how easy it is to submit LS Dyna workloads to Total C HPC cluster appliances and the Total C public cloud. Total C sells turnkey managed clusters that we manage for you in your data center running the applications as well as uh, it would give you the ability to run on our Total C public cloud. Both use the same simple to use interface that we're showing here today and they're both completely managed by Total C, so all you have to do is worry about your engineering and not about anything related to IT. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you log in is the list of applications here. We have LS Dyna, and then you can put, pick from a variety of, of different LS Dyna binary versions. And here we have version 10 and 11, and I'm gonna keep with this default. Uh, I can also select some different post-processing options I might want to do after my job completes. Uh, but the first thing I can do is uh, select my key file. Now I'm going to pick this run right here. Uh, I could go ahead and select this input deck. If I didn't already have staged this input deck, I could simply upload it through this upload button, uh, drag it over onto a letter drive, or use SFTP. For now, I'm just going to select this uh, input deck. Uh, we automatically will include all the includes that you have. We're going to go ahead and select the number of cores. In this case, maybe I'll choose 72 cores. And then I push the submit button. So that's pretty much it. Collect your input deck, number of cores, push submit. It's going to give me a job ID here. And now I can go ahead and go back and look and see that this job ID is currently running. And I can expand out the job to get some information, like which nodes I might be running on, any messages. We have some LS Dyna uh, integrations where you can go ahead and uh, see how much time is left. So I can tell on uh, this LS Dyna job has about an hour left. You can also do things like control the order of the queue. Uh, I can change job priorities. I could cancel jobs. I can write LS Dyna sense switches out to control various aspects of the simulation or cleanly shut it down. And you can, of course, filter all this kind of information uh, if you have a lot of jobs. Finally, I can see a kind of a visual representation of my cluster. Uh, here I have this set of nodes, and the ones that are in gray are currently busy, and the number in green is currently free. Finally, I can also monitor my uh, list of uh, licenses that I have. So I can see how many licenses I currently have free and can query the license server to, to make decisions about how many licenses I might want to submit if I need to submit right now. So at a very high level, that's how easy it is to submit to the, to the Total C portal. Now, when this job completes, uh, I will get an email and then I can go ahead and come into the Total C portal. I can click on the directory uh, download whatever D3 plots I may want and just click the download button. Once you've downloaded it, then of course you could just open it up in LS Pre Post and do whatever post processing that you may want to do. So that's how easy it is, just a few clicks to solve. And uh, you, we also have a command line interface. So if, for example, you decide that you prefer to do some type of DOE or a sweep, or you just prefer to integrate with a third party tool, uh, then you can easily submit via our tsubmit command line. It submits jobs exactly the same way the portal does using the exact same backend interface, and they both interoperate. But if you're more of a command line user, you could simply uh, run this uh, tsubmit and it's going to generate the job script and submit it for you, uh, doing all the exact same way that you could do at the portal. So if you're a power user, you don't aren't forced into the portal, you can simply use the command line and accomplish the same thing. Uh, this will also write out the job script into your uh, working directory. So if you decide that you want to uh, edit that job script, you can go ahead and edit it with a text editor and totally have it uh, do any kind of po more powerful things that you may or may not need to do. All the information about the simulation is automatically captured into our Total C data marshal. You can then go and search through the drive uh, using like a Google-like search mechanism to find different information about the job that you might have done. And in this case, you could see I have the this ODB, a different benchmark, was automatically stored. It has some information about the version of the software and uh, what release I used, single precision, double precision, as well as the uh, script that uh, dr drove the simulation. I could choose to upload my D3 final D3 plot files or any other type of information here that I might be interested in. But it automatically does this with no extra steps. So I didn't have to go take an extra step to remember to do this. Uh, any comments that you might have had in the job when you submitted are also captured here. So everything that you need to recreate that simula simulation days, months, or years later uh, is automatically archived and stored in an object store and gives you a really easy way to go find it. You can store this data on commodity storage or on the public cloud.
Another popular feature that comes with our platform is the Total C Analyzer. It gives you, for example, the, the ability to see how busy is your cluster, who's running jobs, how many have succeeded, what lar what, what, how many jobs are pending due to licensing, or other types of reasons. We also can show you how much licensing you're using. So if I wanted to see how much LS Dyna licensing I've been currently using, I can pull up the chart and I can see uh, the usage of all the licensed features. We support an unlimited number of popular CAE uh, licensed servers, and so you can get all of those in one dashboard. Uh, we also show you the real-time node utilization. So if you're interested in something that might be happening on a particular node, it'll populate all of the information uh, in real time so that you can go ahead and zoom in on like uh, what might be happening currently on this current machine. I can go in and zoom in and see I'm using 100% of the CPU, 13% of the memory, kind of get a feel for what's going on with your job. Uh, we also have the ability to do storage utilization so you can see you know how much of the storage you're using, who's using it, among many, many, many other types of dashboards that are uh, a plug in to the Total C Analyzer. This lets you make data-driven decisions. It lets you uh, determine: Do you need more? Uh, do you need more hardware? Do you need more software? Uh, you know, do you know what is the uh, complete usage of the system? Uh, who is using it? Uh, all these types of questions can be answered uh, using the Total C Analyzer. So this concludes our presentation today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to submit to the Total CAE portal uh, for LS Dyna and some popular integrations that we offer to make your life easier as an engineer. And if you're interested in seeing how we could help you uh, with a, either an appliance or a cloud to run LS Dyna, uh, please contact us at total, info at totalce.com and we'd be happy to work with you to uh, advance your simulation goals.